All right, so first thing off, I want to get to say is that after watching this movie, like back to back to back with the first three X-Men, I kind of want to say that maybe they should rename all the other movies called X-Men, Wolverine and X-Men. <laughs> Wolverine and X-2. <laughs> Wolverine and X-Men The Last Stand. This is what it feels like, right? It feels like, like you said before, like obviously Wolverine is the main character in a way for X-Men. But well, then watching for this these one, movies, he's the main character for the X Men. In the real comic books, he's not the main character. Yeah, yeah for the movie, but he does have a lot of story because I mean, even when he had the comic book, he had his own title. Yes, he does have his own. I line. mean, because you buy, I would go buy X Men comic books and then I buy Wolverine comic books. You okay. know, yeah, I didn't really ever go buy Storm comic book. I didn't ever go buy Beast Cyclops. No, or no, no that's Nightcrawler, I think. Does Nightcrawler by himself? Well, yeah, a special edition. I mean, yeah. there's like little deals, but there was never a full run. No, that's not a full run. It's I'm Wolverine sure all these other the guys. One. Yes, Wolverine used to always had his own comic book. Because, I mean, there was a Wolverine and Kitty Pride yes. comic for a little bit. But there's all those are just short little runs. But Wolverine is the only one that has the, a longer run. Well, because he's a fan favorite. He's a fan favorite, yep. Yeah, I mean, he's my Spider-Man. Yeah. I mean, he's probably a lot of people's Spider-Man or Captain America or Iron Man. Who do you like better, uh, Iron Man Iron or Wolverine? Man. Hmm. I don't think I ever comic, asked you that question. Comic book, comic book wise, I like the re- I liked reading Wolverine comics. Oh, okay. But watching the movies, I like Iron Man better. How about just the character? Regardless of movie, uh, just the character Wolverine and Iron Man. First of uh, Iron Man for you. That's a close one. I'm gonna say with character wise, I'd have to go with Wolverine. Oh, interesting. I like Iron Man because of technology. Oh, okay. I mean, Iron Man's got an interesting story. He does, but I don't know. I just, I, I don't know. You, you have to go with what you read, though. The the Wolverine comics in the X Men stories got me more than the Iron Man comic book. Oh, that's true. The X Men story, yeah, comic books is for me. It's better than Iron Man. Yeah, I'd say it's better than Iron Man comic books. I mean, the Iron Man comic books are good, but the problem is, like, the movies. They they add give you a lot more Tony Stark, a lot more dimension to him, and you got a lot more interaction with other characters. When I read the comic books, the Iron Man comics to me felt like mainly he talked to himself and he had all these inner deals, while Wolverine pretty much interacted with a lot of people with his stories. Oh yes, but I don't. I think the I think the biggest thing though for me is like like I said, I quit reading Wolverine eventually because they went ahead and did the origin. But for the longest time, it's the trying to figure out where where did he come from, what did he do, and you're reading that, it's like, oh, this is so interesting. This kept me hooked. So then when they did the origin and the comic books, lost the hook. Ah, uh, yeah, you said that. You, well, I think you mentioned me either privately or on the show before. So did you like this movie? Like a long time ago, you said you watched this a lot. Oh, I did watch it a lot, and I liked it again. I still like it. I mean, I mean, there's got some pro. It's got some major problems, but if you'll if you'll just kind of let the problems get out of the way and watch for the acting and stuff, I say they made a lot of improvements over the X Men movies. What are the problems that you're referring to? Oh, I'm just problems with them making the Weapon Eleven and turning a bunch of characters into him. And just kind of like messing with the uh, con- the continu- the continuity of the other series. So you know what I think I remember this from the movie. You mentioned Weapon Eleven. So Wolverine with the Antimanium is Weapon Ten. Weapon X, yeah. Yeah, Weapon X. It's just basically yeah, well, ten. Well, we don't call it the evil. We don't call the evil ten the evil. We call it. <laughs> what? Well, you know what? Me watching this one, it feels like the pacing was kind of slow. But like that, the I pacing was time. too slow. Too. Yeah, I think the pacing is too slow, which is funny because this is not a long movie at all. No, it's like an hour forty four minutes. Yeah, it's just yeah, it's like, it's got slow pacing. I mean, it's got some problems to it, but it, it's not that bad. Hey, it did well enough to do another one, like to make another one, like uh, the yeah. Wolverine. It, it didn't well enough. Well, it didn't do. It did well enough to know that they made a mistake. They should have fixed it. But the problem is. I think it has a lot to do with the story's really good up till you get to a sp- certain point. It's kind of like Iron Man 3. It's amazing until you get to a point and it's like, okay, everything's starting to go south. <laughs> well, it's, just, it's like it's like we have this movie, we have a plan, we're making this movie, and all of a sudden, oh, somebody at 20th Century Fox thinks you should do all this now. 
<laughs> kind of like you know, Sony. Because yeah. some of it doesn't make sense. You know, like when they made him, they're like, why did they make him? Why did they even make him? They didn't need him. They weren't going to even use him. They made Wolverine. You know, they went through there. It's like, we're going to make the strongest superhero ever. Oh, yeah, we're not we're not even going to use him. After we got him done and finished and he works, yeah, just scrap him. Well, I thought they were just use, using that for the test so they have the data. That's how I see it as. Well, maybe so, but the problem is it seems like they, they did a lot of work for almost nothing. They did do a and, lot of work. And then, the, then, then the Antadium bullets, I mean, at the end, it makes sense, but during the movie, like, the only way to stop him is we're going to make a bullet just for him. I'm like, Antimanium? We're going to make an Antimanium bullet? I was like, it's they, like going... They make six like, of them. It's like, it's, like make, it's like going, hey, we got these steel bullets. It's going to stop this steel tank that we made. So I'm like, okay, go out there and shoot that steel tank. I'd like to see you. <laughs> that's I guess I, I see your comparison to me like that's a little bit over over exaggeration. It's a little over exaggeration. Well, basically all because it just knocks his brain around. That's all. But they make it sound like they could actually kill him. So see what I'm saying? What I understand yeah, is so Antimanium is the only thing that can go through Antimanium. But, but it didn't go sense. through. But it does. It just, that's what I. That makes sense. Now listen to my tank analogy. Okay. Still bullet to go through a steel tank. Two materials made of the same thing. Does that bullet actually go through that tank? No, that's what I'm thinking. So why would antimanium go through antimanium? Yeah, th see, that's what I'm saying. Thinking see, too, like so. So I'm not over exaggerating. No, because like if so, let's just say from what we saw in the movie, right? That means there's always a hole in Wolverine's skull. But they didn't go through his skull, though. That's the thing. See, that, that's the, see, if it didn't go through his skull, right? Why would it hit the brain? Does that make well, sense? Well, that's the, that's the thing. But here's the thing. Here's the reasoning. The reasoning, though, is what they don't. This is why they mess it up because they okay. make it sound like they're gonna kill him, and then you think the bullet's gonna go through the the skull. The yeah. Skull. But at the end, it makes sense because he shoots him in the head and just jars his head enough to damage the hurt hurt his brain. Let's oh, say it's like it's like let's say you're in a race car when you stop real quick. You know, it's killed race car drivers because oh. it's it it didn't hurt them. It didn't damage their body, but the brain keeps moving. So it basically just did a lot of brain trauma. Oh, okay. So it's like shaking a brain in his jaw. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. So but they make okay. it but they make it do sound like you say, they make it sound like they're gonna shoot right through him with yeah. the animating. But you can't. Because even can't. when I'm sitting there and I was like, why would you think that? Because no metals, unless you make it a certain way, it's not gonna go through another metal. Yeah, because it's the uh the elements, right? If you it, I mean it you gotta change you gotta it. change it up a little and bit. And also I mean, that didn't make sense bullet. because then Deadpool has antimanium swords and Wolverine, they, they would just break each other's stuff. The claws well, we and know. the sword. We don't, we can't really say that because that's yeah. not really Deadpool. Oh, no, I'm not talking about this one. Oh, okay. I'm talking okay, about Deadpool talking about and Wolverine. Okay, yeah, Deadpool yeah. and Wolverine, yeah. Yeah that, that, yeah, that logic didn't make sense. So the yes. other question I want to ask you is because I was going to bring this up like a minute ago. So yeah. how come Victor and Wolverine or Victor and Jimmy has the same regenerative abilities right but then striker was sure that he wouldn't like victor wasn't able to take the procedure does that he may make not sense he, he may not heal he may not heal as quick oh that's the thing he might and not it probably, he probably doesn't have the drive that he decided wolverine had oh but that killed wolverine wanted Kill revenge Taylor. so wolverine wanted revenge so bad and of course, Victor by then he didn't. He just he yeah, just likes to kill. Yeah, he just he likes, just to, likes kill, yeah. to kill. He just likes to kill. He doesn't really have a reason to live. You know, um, my favorite part. I'm just going to get this out there because I usually usually ask this. My favorite part is the beginning montage, like when they go to all the time periods. Oh yeah, that was I mean, that's, that's really good. good. I did think what was stupid though. I didn't think it was stupid, but it didn't make sense really. All right, okay. they're Canadians, right? We yeah. know they're both Canadians. Yeah. Everybody knows they're Canadians. Wolverine's the famous, most famous Canadian ever next to Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> and William Shatner. Oh, Flash. yeah, William Shatner. Most people think but this is a fictional character. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm taking two real characters. I mean, Ryan Reynolds seems oh, like... Oh, Mike Myers, right? I guess. Mike Myers is a no, famous Canadian. No, he's not. Canadian. He's, not, he's not a national No, I, I say he's a famous Canadian. They didn't say, like, you know, but, up there. But we're though. talking about... We're talking about... Yeah, we're up t here. You, you're you you're throwing his stuff down under the door. We're not talking about under the door. The Canadian door... I wouldn't say Canadian, under the door. Because well, he doesn't even match Canadian bacon, okay? But... <laughs> or okay. Even the movie Strange Brew. Even though I do love Michael Myers, but... Michael Myers, it's been a while, okay? He Jim Carrey? Movie. He... Jim Carrey's for Canada? Jim Carrey's so not from Canada? I don't know. 
Jim Carrey is Canadian. I'm just starting to see an alarming trend from coming from Canada. Now. But you said like up there, so Jim Carrey would be, yeah, Canadian. Uh, and we don't even know who Jim Carrey is anymore. Okay, now let me oh, finish up. I, I wouldn't say because you just want to. Hey, yeah. Okay, hey, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Let me forget what I'm saying. Now I lost my train of thought because we had to go to Jim Carrey. Anyways, they're both from Canada. We know this. Yeah. So they should have Canadian history. But the show fighting the American Civil War. And I'm okay with that. But the prophets are wearing down. blue. The prophets are wearing blue. Why would they? Oh. Why would they fight for the Union side? Everybody, no, just saying. Yeah. I mean, we're laughing, but everybody knows American history. Yeah. Canada was on the Confederate side, and so was England, France, and all the other nations. I thought it they was supplied just weapons, depends guns, on, and everything. I thought it would just depend on where they were at that moment. We just didn't know because, like, the place they were in Canada, they just snuck into America. So, like, for me, I, mean, I well, didn't connect those dots. Might as well, since they fought the Vietnam War, like they were Americans too. Yeah. When when did Canada fight? What, how many? You know why they had to do this? Because Canada doesn't really fight wars. They don't have any wars, yeah. Well, World War Two. Well, World War Two. But they looked like they were fighting on the American side in the World War Two deal too. So I was yeah. like, huh? That y'all, do y'all not like your country? Hey, you know what? I I just assumed they were been um they've been in America since. Well, in the comic book, they're pretty much. Oh, yeah, I have no idea. I mean, it's changed, but they were mainly Canon Canadians work for the Canadian government. But but in the movies, they're all American government, even though they're Canadians. You know what? They never actually said where they were a lot of places before the war scenes and like where they got the uh, Antimanium Black Rock. I don't even know where yeah, Wolverine kinda, was when he was a um, a lumberjack. Working... When he was a lumberjack, where the hell was he? Like, what country was that? They never said. It never said. I'm guessing Canada, but since America just shows up, it had to be in America. <laughs> yeah, just it Colonel does, Stryker you know, shows up. He does. He just shows up. I'm like, and then of course he's. Do you I like that Canada. though? Do you like that when like, movies don't mention where they need to be? No, that doesn't really bother me because okay. up until you asked me, I just assumed they're in Canada. But now I got. Oh, I have no. I thought they were in Colorado or something. I have no idea. <laughs> so like, well, I don't that know. Was a, that was a Colorado. Or I mean, like, how do I know? How do anybody know? That's the thing. I guess watching a lot of TV and movies. You because, know, like, you know, Victor's going around killing all the other mutants, right? It's like, so would it be, like, I don't even know where that light bulb guy was. Like, he was part, not a circus, but the carnival. But that... most likely, most likely they're, they, yeah, they don't show up. But you do know, there is one scene that bothered me. Okay. Like, when you say where they are, because it just didn't make sense. It's like, okay, they go to Las Vegas. They see, uh, what was his name? Uh, the Wraith. Was it Wraith in Blob? Yes. Anyways, he goes to see him. That's Las Vegas, okay? They're That's like, Las well, Vegas, to, okay. They're like, you need to talk to Travis Kitsch, the other Gambit, the original Gambit. The, the, <laughs> original, the He is the original Gambit. Everybody's like, oh, I yeah. wish we had so, so, so. But no, this was a this was the first Gambit. And he wasn't a horrible Gambit. Yeah. He could have been a good Gambit. They just, I don't know where they thought they want to get old stripper boy. But anyways. What was his name? Uh, Travis, is it Trailer? Is it Taylor Kitsch or Travis Kitsch? Taylor, you said Travis. Taylor. Yeah, Taylor Kitsch. You know, okay. I say a lot of names. Hey, I would know his name if he was in more movies. Which I want to point out, though, him, him and uh, uh Wolverine's girlfriend, they're Ka both in a uh... Hydra. Hydra. You talking about Kayla, right? Yeah, Kayla. Yeah. Was her name Hydra? She was in. Uh, when I was looking at the uh, her character, um, what was it? What was it Kayla? What's her name? Her name is, isn't it Linda? Silver Fox. Linda, Linda yeah, it's, it's Silver Fox. She's Silver Fox. What was her real name? Something Collins. Oh, Anyways, Lynn Collins, yeah. Lynn Collins and Travis and Taylor Kilch. They're both in a movie, uh, another movie together. Oh, John Carter. John Carter. That's he's right. He's the princess and he's the, uh, yeah. the prince. Comes in. Anyways, where were we at? Oh, that's yeah, what you're referring at. to. Okay. Yeah, they're both in the movie. Because Kayla Silver Fox is a, a Hydra. Also, a love interest of Wolverine a long time ago. But she's well, she's probably hide her later in the comic books. I never got that far in the comic books. She was just his his wife and stuff in the comic yeah. books too. He thought he was a wife, then he thought he was, she was a secret agent, then he thought it was his girlfriend, then he thought it was his wife again, then he thought, well, that could be my sister or my mom. He was really confused in the comics. Anyways, where are we going? No, you were going. Uh, you were going on for Lynn Collins and oh, Kayla well, Silver Fox. She's and... supposed to be like she's she's supposed to be. I think she's supposed to be native. An Indian. I was gonna say, yeah, Native American. Native Indians. American. Okay. 
or she looks Native American. I don't know, because after we see her sister, Emma, I was like, well, oh, how could she be? Uh, I don't it's know. It's confusing, because she's like, that's my sister, see my sister. But she was an actor anyways. Are they really sisters in the comic books? I have no idea. Kayla oh, no. I, as far as I know, they're not in the comic book. This is another, this is Fox, okay? Oh, when Fox gets whatever. involved, everybody's kin, okay? Everybody's they just want to put characters in it. Yeah, they just throw characters in there. Come on, they almost put Storm in this movie. But they put Cyclops. They did end up with Cyclops. He stayed, but they almost put Storm when they went to Africa. I forgot Cyclops was in this movie. But anyways, what I was saying is oh, they went to Las Vegas. Yep. Then they go, oh, we got to go see Taylor, Travis, Taylor, whatever his name is. Gambit. They got to go see Gambit. We should stick with that. They got to see Gambit. And he's in Louisiana. So shows them driving into Louisiana on a motorcycle. So I'm like, so I'm glad they cut the movie because they drove all the way from Las Vegas on motorcycles all the way to, to Louisiana. Louisiana. And they went from Louisiana all the way. Where was this? What was that Three Mile Island that this is supposed to yeah, be? Yeah, I have no idea where that is either. Most likely it's Three Mile Island. So they drove all the way up to the New York area. So I'm so glad you pointed out the travel. That's what I was trying to point out with Victor. He went to the carnival. Or I don't even know where that is. And then he we don't went know where to. The Colorado or Canada, <laughs> like on Canada. foot, <laughs> like yeah, on foot, on foot or Alaska, and then or... like it's like Victor's walking everywhere. Well, he had military. Meanwhile... We gotta think Victor. Victor had military aid though. We gotta remember, yeah, but at worked, this time we didn't know. He worked though, for like... strike. Yeah, we yeah. didn't know, but he worked for strikers, so he was getting helicopter rides anywhere he wanted. Oh, to go. Okay, yeah, <laughs> and probably good jets and everything. He got so, chopper Uber, Uber chopper. Yeah, he he had the military, United States military, so he can get anywhere he wanted to. Yeah, which I guess you helped me. Uh, Solve that but problem. Did, of but, like, but but the other guys riding on motorcycles, that would take a couple of days to get here, and then another three days to get there. So, hey, it's travel time in um, I guess in movies and video games. Like I said before, like my one of my favorite games is Street yeah, Fighter just, Two, right? But when I notice yeah. like, how long is this Street Fighter tournament? He got flies. Like sometimes you go to U.S., go to China, but then you go back to U.S. <laughs> like. Why? Why don't you just stay in U.S. to fight the other guy? You got to go all over the world. By the time this is over, this is like a four-week tournament. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would make sense, though. Four-week tournament. I get yeah. that. I get yeah. that. But then you, you never know how t fast or how slow time passes in movies and games like this. Yeah, you don't know. A lot of time could pass. It wasn't that big a deal. It, they weren't but... concerned about this back in... Is it 2000? When did this movie come out? 2009, right after Iron but, Man. But in a way, though, I think the movie is like they, they kind of like, okay, we're going to do the Weapon X. We're going to do Wolverine's origin story. Then at the tour, after they get the Weapon X, he gets up, starts fighting. They're like, okay, let's let's switch it. We're going to fast forward to another. We're just going to make it up. Stryker's been... It became not the Weapon X story. It became another day, another story, pretty much. Well, they, they still kind of stay with the Weapon X for a long time. Yeah, but not... The Weapon X comic book was like a whole bunch of... It was a big series. Yeah. And this is just like, okay, whatever. It's like, they would showcase it here. They don't die. Yeah. And the neat thing, though, I liked it because I've seen, we've seen Wolverine versus Wolverine and Deadpool. This could have been... Could fit in the universe. That could have been Deadpool because for all we know, that that wasn't really Wade because we know the actor it played in wasn't Wade. Wasn't uh, whatever his name is. Oh, well, it's uh, Stan, somebody. But somebody... You're talking about the 11, right? Yeah, yeah, that's somebody was, else. Yeah, they, they somebody kept somebody calling else. him Wade, but that wasn't really. That couldn't even be. That could. That made never was Wade. It probably was even never, there. not Wade because they call him something else. Is they created a mutant off scratch or something? I don't it know. just makes Deadpool though older because this is like all this stuff. All that stuff. All this stuff's taking place what in the eighties. Did they say it was the eighties? No, but it's got to be the eighties. But it's before the, the first X Men. Yeah, because they they got him in the Vietnam War and then they yeah. left and it's kind of in the seventies. Then it's in the eighties. It's gonna this guy can remember the movie, starts off, the movie does have the movie does start off in the year eighteen forty five. Forty five. A year before Texas joins the uh United States. Yeah, see. Just the just the, I'll let know, that you put the United, that. most of the United States is not there. I'm just saying most of the United States is not there yet. So Huh. Not, I'm trying. To, yeah, I did look at the. Uh, it's it's the, it's the different actor. So you know what? They never connected that. They did say that Wade was dead. In yeah, they keep movie. saying wait, say, but they because they said a lot of other people were dead that weren't dead yet. Yeah. So remember, he's because because we also think Victor went off and is just going on a killing spree, but he wasn't. He was just doing what he was told. Yeah, I'll f I forgot about that. And by the way, I want to point out, 
That's the best best saber tooth. He's the best saber tooth. He doesn't he really look like saber tooth. Best saber tooth. He doesn't really look like saber tooth because in the comic saber tooth has like long blonde hair and sometimes he keeps wearing a ponytail. But I mean, to me, he was big enough. He looked bigger than I don't think he really is bigger than. No, he's uh, not bigger than who Jackman. Jackman, in real life, but he right? looks, but he looks like he is. Yeah, it's just kind of like you know, you never know how. how I'm gonna see his height. Let's see it. Let me see if I can find it. How, is, how do you pronounce that. his name? Is it Levi or Levi? How I do you say his name? I say it's Levi. Levi. I could be wrong. I mean, I don't should, even know how to pronounce this uh, whole name. River. Is it River. River. Oh, he's six three. Oh, he's taller than Hugh Jackman. Okay, so he looked he looked bigger. Yeah, Hugh Jackman is six two six three, so he's probably the same around the same. Yeah, anyway. I mean, and they made and they let him do everything. The, the saber and pretty much he was saber too. The shark teeth, the claw, the claws. He jumped. Yeah, no, the, he the crawling, not the claw. Yeah, the, the crawling, crawling, the jumping, the, the well, dashing, yep. jumping. Yeah, the dashing and stuff. He almost saw everything, and even the way he talks to him, the way he looks, his facial expressions, all expressions. Oh, he's a this good guy, actor. This guy is this guy is killing it. Why he never come back? Well, it's probably because of this movie. He could have come back, and it would have been he awesome. He could have came back. Oh, uh, he still come back. I he's, mean, the he's other saber tooth. A year got, older the than who? Yeah, the other saber tooth got his head sliced off. So, I mean, this is room for this one because this is the best saber tooth. To you know, you know, it's really funny when you say the best Matter saber fact, tooth. Right? This is the he's the only actor that played a lot of saber tooth. Like the other one, what is yeah. this combined running time? Five minutes. Yeah, they didn't really give him a lot of time. Like he didn't and have they, a lot of words to say or him. anything. And they, yeah, and they messed with him too much. It's what I you complained know? about Rogue last time. Like, oh, Rogue is in the movie, but like, they didn't really utilize her. So you just did, yeah. to, like you said, just, just crying. Yeah. Run away, <laughs> bye, Bobby. They're like, <laughs> the heck, like. <sighs> and then look, and then get rid of her mutant powers. Yeah, and then like this is how Fox does it. Like, hey, they just put these characters yeah, in there. Just put these. Like, I, yeah, they do. They just they just want to do a lot of name dropping. Yeah, they did. I mean, like, because Chen and like Tatum Emma, was able to play a lot of Gambit are, on this one too. But he was a lot shooting. Of people, well, here's the funny thing: a lot of people want to say Emma was uh, the White Queen, but she can't be. They just say she's Emma. You either decide she's a White Queen and it makes you happy, or you decide or you're just the White yeah. Queen. Her just a girl named Emma. That is true. You know? She does have that diamond skin thing, though. Yeah. We don't know that. So, so you know, you're right. I never thought she was the White Queen to me. She's just Emma, yeah, I guess. She's just the sister to Silver Fox. That's yeah, sister to Silver Fox. Like there could be more than one mutant with the same power. That could be a lot she of mutants. Because well, you gotta think we see right, right. What's his name? Wraith. He teleports just like yeah. as, just as Nightcrawler. As, as Nightcrawler or Azusa or whatever his name is. Azazel. As, Azazel. Yeah, he, tra he transports just like Azazel. Plus, you get Blob. But he don't become the blob until in the movie, and they don't really hardly use him either. Yeah, see, they also under like they just have to oh, so that way they can like oh, they have the, this mutant in there. That's it. And of course, you never get Deadpool. You just get Wade Wilson. Yep. Who you think is going to turn into Deadpool, but you never get Deadpool because Weapon Weapon Eleven. That's not Deadpool. No, that's not Deadpool. They they call him Deadpool. Oh, Fox really sucks. I don't know why we like this movie. Well, we don't really like this movie, but like I said, I watch it a hundred times, and but I always watch it up to <laughs> almost where the, where he'd show up at the mutants, where to get the mutants, and then I usually turn it off. Oh, that's why you turn it off? Yeah, about where I see Wade Wilson go back up, I was like, okay, I'm done. Well, even like Hugh Jackman, when Wolverine wasn't sure, he's like, Wade, is that you? But like, that's not him. It's just a like created another but being. It, but he also goes, hey, I see him find a final way to shut you up. Yep. But yes. see, the thing is, you could say this is. This is what this is where where Wade Wilson was a mercenary. Yeah, he's this way he's just a mercenary. Because see, they're basically just you know what mercenaries. Not only mercenaries, but these are mutants. So at Not this all time, of mutants. see, I don't know. It's well, Wade they never said supposed though. to be a mutant. That's what I'm saying. Like, is he a mutant here? Or I thought Striker was just collecting mutants. Well, it looks like he is, but I think he's just collecting anybody. That would be kind of weird that he's the only one that's not a mutant in this group of mercenaries. But right? it, it's weird. It's weird how you say that because you know, some su a lot of superheroes before they had X Men slowly became mutants, like uh, Bullseye. Bullseye was oh, is that's the villain. Right. He's he turns out he is a mutant. Yeah, he can't miss. That's but right. He wasn't always a mutant. He just one day. Oh yeah, he's a mutant too. So what's the difference between Hawkeye and Bullseye? Which, by the way, we Hawkeye and Bullseye. Bull which I want to point out, Bullseye we'll has an Bullseye has a titanium skeleton too, just like Wolverine. Yes. 
Mm. Have you seen the end of the the Devil season three yet? No. Oh, oh. You okay, I'll, I'll have to find it and watch it. Oh, season three is for Daredevil. Every season just gets better. Like when you see, <laughs> you hear the doctor's name, and immediately you know why you just went. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, but you might as well just tell me who the doctor's name is. I, I can't it's remember. It's the, it's the doctor that put the uh, antimanium inside um, Bullseye. Doctor... Oh, uh, Wolverine. No, is it the same doctor as in this movie? So you know what? I have no idea who. Like, so that scene, right, when they put pump the antimania, we'll go back to my question. Of well, the doctor, the lady Bullseye. doctor in this movie, her last name is Frost. Not Frost. In this Not movie. Frost. Okay. I'll find it in a minute. So that oh, scene, well. right, there's so many extras that I feel like you put too many people in this scene that really... Yeah. We only need the but, other like colonel. And so maybe one doctor. Yeah, you don't need all those people, but... Well, anyways, who, also so what's the out. difference between Hawkeye and Bullseye? Between Hawkeye and Bullseye? Yeah, because they can't miss, right? Like they well, they Hawkeye can Hawkeye can miss. No, but they what well, Bullseye can miss too. So if they choose to, not really. No, yeah. if they choose well, to, like that's not my target. It's my intention to. Yeah, but you. but the, the thing is, Hawkeye actually has to try to hit the target. He has to aim and hit Bullseye. It's he's going to hit the target. He makes the target all the time. Huh. He's almost like his power is not. And a lot of people go, that's that's a weird part of power. It's not really his power. It's like Domino's power. Oh, like luck. He's always oh. gonna have. It's oh. always gonna have the luck. Mm, okay. So basically, bullseye power is the same thing. His luck is he's always gonna hit the target. Now he can miss, and he's missed, but it's because something's interfered. He he's not just gonna miss. You know, he's not gonna try so hard and miss. He's gonna put the gun up and go. Huh, I'm gonna shoot, pull the trigger, and it's gonna hit you in their face. Damn, I can't remember the stupid doctor's name in Daredevil season three. I'm gonna have to find it later. Oh well, I'll watch. I just have to. Who watch is the it. director that did this move? Who is Gavin Hood? You ever heard uh, of this guy? Nope, never heard of him. So like from from Brian Singer to Brett Redner, like those directors I know, and then they have this Gavin Hood guy. So basically, he's just another guy that Fox has ruined his career. I don't know. He had made this movie. Like, like hold on, I'm gonna read these movies to you, and then you tell me if you heard of it. 1998, <sighs> The Stall It's just a, a short film. Okay. And then 1999, A Reasonable Man. Okay. And then uh, 2001, In Desert and the in Wilderness. And then, no, no, I'm not done yet. And then Tesoti? I don't even know how to pronounce this stupid name. Uh, and then Rendition. Oh, this one has um, Jake Gyllenhaal in it. Mel Streep yeah. and Peter Sarsgaard. And then X-Men Wolverine Origins. Oh, X-Men Origins it? Wolverine. And then and, the oh, Ender's Game. Oh, I made the Ender's Game? Yeah, it has. Oh, that's oh. after um, Wolverine, though. We've seen Ender's Game. I haven't seen Ender's Game. Have I? Oh. I don't think I have. No, well, and then Eye in man. the Sky, Official Secrets. Okay, I never heard that, but Ender's Game. But I, yeah, I want to go back to your comments. So this is another director that Fox ruined. <laughs> okay, well, I should have said that. But, you know, a lot of movies do that. They'll, they'll, they'll find somebody that's up and coming and they, like, and they see something they like in them. And they'll go, hey, I'm going to throw this a big lot of money at you. You just show up. And then after the movie doesn't run, doesn't do good, they put it all on you. The budget was small in this movie. Yeah, I don't. I, like I said, this movie wasn't horrible. It, it didn't do very good. A lot of people didn't like it, but and I, I can see it. Why? Because it changed a lot of things. You're you're thinking you're going to watch a Wolverine at Origins get you a good Wolverine story, and you you got to kind of you didn't get a really good Wolverine story. You got a rushed, still like kind of a rushed Wolverine story. It seemed like they're trying to do real good, but at the end of the movie, they're like, "All right, let's wrap this up, boys." Out of these four, right? Which one is the worst? Oh, Out which these... one's the worst? That all of these four X Men movies to you, I want to go with X Men One. X Men One still the worst. Yes. Yeah, sure. I, 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 I'm not saying it's that bad, but out of all of them, I'm, I really don't want to see the X Men, the first X Men. Is it because movie, like yeah. the way that you thought, like, oh, they didn't have these X Men or whatever? Like, the, like, it's just not really a great movie to watch. The hmm. set through, I don't really want to sit there through it. I mean, I could watch this one and be okay. I could sit through the third one, sit there, be okay. I can watch the second one and be okay. The first one, I'm gonna go get a snack in my I'm probably not gonna come back until it's over. Oh, interesting. I mean it's it's just it's just it's just it's just not very well made. You know what? Just, I didn't, didn't think any of them are bad now. 
I don't think any of them are bad. It's just out of like you asked it, which one's the worst. So sure. I gotta put a worst one out there. So your question is which one is the worst? I think for me oh. it's this one. Okay. You'd rather see the first three X Men than this one. Uh out of these four, I would always watch the second one. X two. Okay. Then the okay. first one, then the third one, then this one. See, sadly, I don't know which two, one. Two, one, watch three, again. four. I don't know because I can't really see the this one or the X three being worse than the other. I'd probably actually sit down and watch this one. I actually already know because I watched the crap out of this one. Yeah, you said you watched a long the time ago. This one. And I watched the crap out of the third one, so I'd watch this one again. I'd watch this a hundred thousand times. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to, but if I have to, I'll sit there and watch this. I don't want to, like, I don't want to, but like, let's see how it feels. This one, this one is. You watch it, and you can see this one. This could have been good. This one, and you can see a lot of things where they should have. What do you mean by could have been good? What would you have done? They, they could have been a lot of things that changed. I would have got rid of the the weapon. I would have changed the way that I would have the X program would have been a little longer scene with him fighting and then wanting him, and then I probably would have changed the ending. I probably would never put Gambit in there. Didn't need him. Wouldn't put Scott Summers in there. Yeah, and if they're hunting, mon- if they're hunting mutants, it would have been more mutants you didn't see with more unique powers that he was saved. Did you? And I would have put. I probably would have went on with more after he lost his uh, memory too. Oh, and that just that quick scene at the end. Yeah, just, just that quick scene where we just got ended. One, yeah, yeah. I would. I did. I was happy with all the scenes between how it ended with him and Sabretooth, pretty much. But again, like I said, I like the Sabretooth and him and him and Sabretooth pretty much. And I actually liked the Colonel act the actor that played Colonel. The oh, Colonel. Striker! I actually liked his character. I didn't like all the stuff and all the scenes with him because I, I. But the character and the actor itself did a good job. Hmm. Actually, I think a lot of the actors in this one did a good job because I like I like Silver Fox. I thought she did an excellent job. Yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't have any problem with the acting at all from anybody. Actually, from all, any of the X Men. That no, no, nobody have like, oh, this guy did a bad job. Like, not to me. No, it's at not. All. It's yeah. A lot of them didn't do a bad job. It's just I think it's a lot of bad directing. To me, it's kind of like the first. Well, it's like those uh, the other. I'm gonna say the one episode one, two, and three of uh, Star Wars. <laughs> the movie's good and it looked amazing. It's just the acting and the direction just didn't seem, you know, because some of those actors, you know, you could got you could have got more out of them. And you didn't. Yeah, it just like. It's a short movie, right? They didn't give enough time. There's so many people in this thing. Yeah, there's so, so many much mutants, stuff. I guess, in this one. That, like, and, they only focus course, on Wolverine. It goes back to the Fox deal where Fox doesn't really want to spend a lot of money. Because, you know, some of the yeah, scenes, they, they could have been expanded. They could have looked a lot better. Some of the fight scenes could have looked a lot better. But it's so, so funny because you said the that fight last scenes time. are still better. The fight scenes in this one are still way better than the ones in the first X Men. Yeah, the before. I mean, Chinese you can see you this. can see some. It's kind of funny, especially the helicopter fight scenes. Yeah, the helicopter fight scene between Wolverine and the motorcycle is cool, but not as cool as it. It, could, it should have been a little bit better, cut a little bit at better. Like the, he could have a better fight with Agent Zero, but they didn't. They, they just, could have. Yeah. yeah, I see what but you oh, mean. Well. Like the fight was, scenes, like happy. between the moons, could have been better. Uh, well, but, the only I mean, they still what is the biggest more. fight scene? Him and the Blob. Oh, I think the biggest thing is him and him against uh, Sabretooth. Oh, in, in the in the yeah, at the Louisiana, right? No, you talk about the first no. time. I'm talking about the first time when it's, you got insurance. <laughs> Too yeah. bad. That was it. That wasn't a bad fight scene. No, I mean there wasn't really a lot of fight scenes because they cut them real short. Yeah, because you know there could have been a big fight scene in Louisiana, but it wasn't because well, they had Gambit. Yeah, they have Gambit. And, then, and when he's cutting the ladder, it's it's a little silly oh, that, looking. That was way, silly. but I was. I was like, okay. I mean, how else are you going to do it? But it was a little silly. They could have done it a different way. It's, it's so weird that they're not really good with special effects. It's 2009. <laughs> this came out after Iron Man. Well, I'm sure they had to cut. They had to cut some stuff. Yeah. So, this came out after Iron Man? Iron Man came out 2008, right? This came out 2009. I thought Iron Man came out 2010. 2010 was Iron Man. Hold on, let me see. Let me make that sure. That could be wrong, but I thought 2010 was Iron Man. Oh, 2008. 2010 Iron is Iron Man 2. Oh, okay. Because Avengers came out 2012. All right, well, then, yeah, this should have been a better movie now. <laughs> yeah, you I just know. ruined this movie. I think you always remember that this came out Iron Man. And huh. we didn't even see X-Men Wolverine Origins, did we? No. 
We went to see Iron Man, Iron Man 2. We went to see all the way to the Avengers. We didn't we even see X-Men's Yeah, we saw all the MC. <laughs> Yeah, almost me and you almost saw all the MC. We missed a yeah. few, but most of it, we saw all the MCU until the end of, uh, you know, until they, uh, well, past the snap. Yeah. And that was it. We just saw, uh, what is it, Infinity War and Endgame. Endgame. That was, that's, that's where we about stopped. Yes. I mean, we went and saw a couple, one more other one together, but that was about it. After that, it was every man watching it for himself. But again, I didn't live there anymore. Yeah, see, that's you didn't live in the t- in town anymore. I mean, yeah, like, so. what what was that thing that we didn't see this movie? I, I can't even remember. Like, you and I both loved the X Men, but I then think, we didn't I see. I think a Wolverine. lot of people said it wasn't that good. That's so weird though, because you it and I like, usually I think, see it on the first weekend. Yeah, I think your cousin said it wasn't all that great. I do remember because he's a big Wolverine fan. Yeah, and I was like, okay, if he says it's not good, then I know if he says he's not good, then like, ugh. I, I can't remember. I'm sure there was a reason we didn't see it, though. We probably would have went and saw it. Yeah, we but we didn't go see it. the X Men together either. So, but again, well, I we didn't, didn't know you. Yeah, we didn't know each together. other. Yeah, we didn't watch the third one. No, together. I didn't even didn't see the, the third one in the theater. Yeah, well, I didn't watch the second one with you. Or did you know you? what? I didn't, didn't go see, see the any of the X Men in the theater. I I don't think. Wondered. Maybe did did we go see the second one? I don't think so. I think I was I working. No, we were working at Lowe's still. Yeah, well, I, I would think we saw it. You know, it's really funny. I remember seeing X Men First Class in the theater. We saw that in the theater. Yeah, we saw that. that yeah, theater. that was a good one. <laughs> yeah, I'm so glad that's, the first X Men we one. saw together. It was a great one. That was the only one we saw together at the theater. Because I didn't even watch Days of the Future Past in the theater. Yeah, I didn't either. And I think you, I watched it before you because I think I told you, hey, you got to see this. Yes. Yeah, I do remember that. Because yep. I remember I was like, hey, do you even know these people? And you're like, okay. Yeah, because when the uh, Days of the Future Passes, when they had the both all the cast together in one yeah, movie. Yeah. And you had Blinks, Blink it. Well, you had Blink. Well, they had a Bishop, yeah. Crass. Yeah. You had a whole bunch of extra characters. And that yep. one was a good one, too. That one was a great one. Yeah, that one was a good one, too. Wow. I can't believe we didn't even watch that much X Men together. That's yeah, because we had X Men. Well, that's because we had the MCU, though. We do have the MCU. After you watch the MCU, you really don't have to see any of this other garbage that we're talking about from Fox. That is true. They're not only from the Fox, is, from Warner Brothers. The only reason me and you are going down this road is because we watched Deadpool. Deadpool and Wolverine. Wolverine. When Disney fixes everything again, just like they did well, in No Way Home. We think Disney fixed everything. We don't know. We haven't seen any more but stuff. But so yet. far, Disney gone. fixed a lot of stuff for they me. Did fix a lot of it. Deadpool and Wolverine. Personally, would fi- fix a lot for me. I mean, I mean, come on. Of all the fight scenes you seen Wolverine did, X Deadpool and Wolverine was the best one. Yes, when it's Hugh Jackman is in his mid fifties, they yeah. couldn't do this right now when he's like thirty something. Yeah, we got more Wolverine than we uh, that movie than we ever got. Then we have the, all of then, them combined. Then you got, yeah, then you got all of them combined because you don't really get too much Wolverine out of this one. But this is so that he, funny because he's the title but, character. But you got to but you got to think though he didn't really become Wolverine, and and you learn to use his claws until the end of this movie. That's right, because this is where he first got it. Yeah. Even though he should have been a little more feral than... And you know what? I don't know if this... Because Sabretooth was pretty much Sabretooth in this movie. Yeah. I don't know if this bothers me or you. Like, when he was in a tank, right? When he could hear Striker, like, erase his memory. Is he supposed to have that kind of power? Like, I don't remember super hearing. He's supposed to have... He's supposed to have super hearing. He's supposed to have very good hearing. Oh, He's okay. supposed to have... Yeah, he's supposed to have all animal senses. Okay, so, so I think Fox underutilized the animal senses. Yeah, because like you know, the smelling yeah, and stuff. Yeah, he did every now on it. He they used him. He did his smelling there. Remember, because he said he smelled. He smelled the guy who was telling the truth. Yep. Yeah, that. Then he smelled that that the government. He knew the striker showed up. Yes. Yeah. See, it's so. Uh... And then of course he smelled the wolf brain head cut off over there. Yeah, smelling. It feels like it's very underutilized. I think Sony thought... did that with a spider sense too. Yeah, well, you can't do it all the stuff. Comics don't constantly do it, but Wolverine smells everything. Yeah, and his hearing is supposed to have been a little bit better. Better because uh, it's an animal instinct. Yeah, so he's supposed to have good hearing, good smelling. <sighs> so it's just saber tooth. So. 
Let me see what other things bother me. Cause like on this one, I didn't have to write like down loud and not like you said. I seen this movie quite a few times before too. Cause I like Wolverine, but not as such as you or my cousin. Yeah, I put I like the intro of Wolverine with the montage. Victor did the call several times and does all my notes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this movie is so slow paced that I could tell but then what the other thing that bothers me is Cyclops right when he burned a hole through the school no one has covered that up no one there's no national news story just saying like um a whole, uh, it looked like the school was blown up today it was really well, weird I don't know maybe the government <laughs> showed up and shut that down same thing with that that you know that that uh, reactor island thing they're on. Oh, that's right. They, they probably, cover they that probably up. covered it up. Covered it up because if it's if I don't know if it is if it's Three Mile Island, like in the, it's a real where they had a, a, a leak, a reactor leak. Oh, reactor. Oh, that's because uh, yeah, the nuclear power plant is there. Yeah, I don't know if that's that at that place or not, but yeah, I have no idea. No, I think it is. I think it's supposed to be, and they just don't ever say nothing. <laughs> but because you know they would think they are like, why they got all these pins for all these little pins for people and stuff in there oh yeah oh did course, you catch any mutants that we didn't mention like when they were rescuing the kids besides cyclops and emma no, i didn't really know who a lot of them was there was one that looked like toad because remember we had the oh yeah, yeah the tongue tongue coming yeah. out and then there's all those ones moving around a lot and i was like nah i didn't really recognize anybody else yeah and i wasn't I, that i wasn't that interested this this go around mm. i don't think i was really ever interested because i was like i just let them go as, as mutants because Cause I always think one of them was Cannonball. Oh, really? But, but I don't know the one that moved around a lot. Did you like Professor X showing up at the end? Yeah, so there's something else. He shows up at the end. He doesn't even get credit for it because it's not really him. Is that really him? But they use his voice. But then they could they just use his voice, and footage. his face looked a little bad off. It's like, really bad CGI, right? Yeah, it's extremely bad CGI. Shows up and he's talking to him. Come on. I mean, I was cool with that though. I'm like, why wouldn't you have uh, Professor X sailing? And it's just a helicopter, not a jet. Not yet. Because you got to remember, this is this, uh, the, 80s? Like the 80s. 80s, right? It's got to be the 80s or 90s. Okay, so Early 90s. you said 80s or 90s. So that was in the Vietnam War. But then when they do the special project, or we, I, we, I didn't know how long that was. The special project was in the seventies. Yeah, it kind of jumps away because it's not Vietnam because the plane, the jet, with the jet looked too modern for me. But when they show up the other stuff, a lot of the furniture and cars and stuff, it's kind of old. Okay, so okay, so the seventies, right? But then when Wolverine left, they said, well, didn't didn't they say it's only five years or six? No, yeah, six it's only years. five years. Five six years. Something. But anyways, you gotta remember they're still all old vehicles. Well, but then this could be the town they're in, though, so... Oh, eight. those... Eight. So this is 80s, we say? It's got to be 1980s. Okay. Well, because it's got to be time. Scott Summers, and Scott Summers has got to be younger. Yeah, Scott Summers in high school. It doesn't say... It could be It could be 80s or early 90s. Who is the kid that played Cyclops in this one? Did they say? Oh, I don't know. It does say it. It's on the uh, IMDb. Oh, it's on IMDb. But not... Um... Oh, they well, the film depiction of Emma was originally intended to be Emma Frost, but it, I can't. But they didn't say that like it is Emma Frost. Yeah. So a lot of people said it was, but I'm like, I don't why she pinned a Silver Fox. I'm trying to see. Uh, the maybe they're not really sisters. Oh. She's just like that's my adopted sister. So in the beginning, I never, I never asked anybody this. So I'm going to ask you. So hey, Jimmy is one. not. Jimmy is not. So their dad, Thomas Logan, is is he a mutant or just? He wasn't a mutant. He wasn't Nobody a, was just a mutant. A... Nobody was a mutant. Just them. Just, just the Victor two. and Wolverine. Apparently, uh, Jimmy. apparently that they're, they're some of the earliest mutants, probably. Okay. They're the earliest mutants I know of. Yeah, that's what I'm saying too. So they're yes. half brothers. Yeah, because the only other mutant they show us so far is uh, Magneto from the 1940s. Yeah, and, well, these, mu these mutants Charles. are from the eight. These are from 1800s, the 1800s. Yeah. 1840 so at least they, they lasted this long because they have to regenerate yeah. it jimmy so his name is james 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 hewitt james logan uh, james logan hewitt yeah james logan hewitt so is that dad that also has sex with the witch mom i'm thinking yeah his mom cheated on his dad his dad the witch dad the rich dad. Well, okay. We should put it this way. Yeah, please explain this to me. Okay. There, that 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 dad, Wolverine and uh, 
Sabretooth's dad is actually this groundskeeper. Or the like groundskeeper. Lives, he's either the groundskeeper or something. He works for them. Okay. For the rich, the Hewlett's. Okay. And he has an affair with the mom. The mom. But the dad, the other dad, either he probably may have knew and just adopted him. But anyways, I guess the other guy got drunk and decided, hey, I'm just going to go tell. That's my, that's my kid. That's my son, yeah. That. But the oh. thing is, Sabretooth already knew that that was his brother. Yes. You know? But it, probably because he could, because of his senses. Oh, interesting. I didn't think about so that. He probably already knew what happened. He goes, this is my brother, even though that, that dad is not really his dad. I still find it interesting. I th I still remember the day I was in New York, like when I find out Saber Tube is Wolverine's older brother. Oh, it was my cousin that told me. Oh yeah. Yeah, I remember that. I w we were in his like um, the part of my aunt's house. I still remember when we were talking about that. Oh, he got so into Wolverine. Like we bought the X Men <laughs> game. He bought the Wolverine game, which sucks. Which I think I play on my other channel. Like. Why do they cost life when Wolverine has claws? Like it, it goes down rapidly to like it doesn't make any sense. Any Wolverine game I play, if it gets hurt, right, the life just keep going down. Like and I hate that. It yeah, never makes of, sense. If to you me. stop, it just comes back. I don't remember that it did. You have to eat burgers yeah. and beer. No, I think you just stay still and it, it came back. What? Oh well, maybe it does that. But I remember if you drink beer, like oh, you know, yeah, that beer oh, and yeah. the burger thing, your yeah, life comes did that back. Too. But I, remember, like that. I think I'm pretty sure that if you stayed still in that game, he just came back. Yeah, but then if you use claws, you use so much life. Like what? Yeah, but I remember I had that video game. I had all those, and then I had the handheld Wolverine game. Oh, the uh, the tiger stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It tiger. I, I don't remember if it's tiger or not. But oh, I it's the I tiger that. brand because I have some uh the old games. I have the little I mermaid I still... and something. Huh. What if I still have it? Oh, yeah, because, you know, it's just got the art, the little drawn Wolverine. It's yeah. It's kind of like the game. It's kind of like the video game, but that well, is good. I think, uh, I think they were going to release a uh, the new version of a Wolverine game. No, were they? Yeah. Well, well they did put Wolverine out on uh, 360. Yeah, I think uh, X-Men's Origins. It's probably on several. It's probably game. on or several. Original things, yeah. Xbox game. It was, eh. It still wasn't as good as it should have been. You know what? I'm going to try to see if I can find Cyclops on this thing. What do you mean, see Cyclops? You just uh, want to know the actor's name? Yeah, the actor's name on IMDb. Like, 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 is he... What else is he in? He has, like, four lines in this movie, oh, no. and this is it. What does it matter? He's not really Cyclops. He is Cyclops. He plays Scott Summers. Okay. Just for this movie. Oh, Tim Pollock. Yeah, that's him. Who's Tim Pollock? Oh, his best known for his teenage Scott Summers. That's funny. Huh. Oh, there was twins in this movie. There was a whole lot of people in this movie. For the, yeah, whole lot. That, so Fox can say, like, oh, we put all these mutants together. Like, yeah, yeah but then. Did you know who they were? And they're like, no, we I, really weren't sure who they are. We're just hoping you'd give We them only names. know two because those are the only two that you called out. <laughs> yeah, we just put a lot of people in there and just hope you. And it's like, oh, yeah, that's who, else. that's who. Like, yeah, that, that's Cyclops. Yeah, that's Cyclops. That's it's kind of like. Process. Like There's... your mom show you a picture of like, oh, you have 60 family members, right? But you only know two because you only hang out with two. But then this is your aunt, whoever. Like, I've never seen these people. Even though I'm related to them. <laughs> this is what Fox does with the X-Men franchise. Like, hey, we is. show you these mutants, but we never call them out. So if, if you don't we, know... Case we, well, that's in case it, we make another it. movie and we want to cast them as somebody else. So you then don't then we can do it. Yep. Yep. You know, because we just constantly <laughs> cast the mutants as somebody else. <laughs> Kitty Pride's been three different people already. Yes. Yes, three different people. Lisa's has been two different people. Now he's three different hey, people. Hey, I guess the only thing they did well is... Hugh Jackman being Wolverine. But then yeah. the only reason is because Hugh Jackman got into the character of Wolverine and that's why he would want to keep playing him. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he's thinking that, Can you uh, imagine if a... Hugh Jackman never read the comic books? Like after the first one's like, oh, I want to dig into this character. So he stopped reading comic books. They're like, wow, Wolverine is really buff. Maybe I should be really buff. So he kept working on that. <laughs> imagine if you have an actor. Besides Ryan Reynolds and obviously like uh, Channing Tatum, who are really into those characters, like you know, because they read them as a kid, right? So they would like it. But yeah, Wolver whatever. like Hugh Jackman didn't start reading comic books until he was like twenty eight. <laughs> Most people don't start reading comic books. Yeah, until they were older. Like it's not yeah. part of that. It's 
Yeah, like Nicolas acts, Cage. Like yeah, like nowadays everybody acts like they're a nerd. Everybody's a nerd now. But I wouldn't the say old a days nerd. When we were kids. Nobody was why nerds. Why would you I, like? Why would you associate comic books with nerds? That's because that's the way the trend is. The trend is the nerd. Yeah. It, being a nerd is reading comic books. Yeah. You gotta be a comics nerd. Otherwise, why are you reading them? Who are you? What kind of jock are you? Go play for the Patriots and get out of my face. Just because you said that, I'm gonna slap you in the face next time, Patriots. Uh, okay. So, so I don't know why I'm getting slapped. I'm gonna go off the trend. So Cody asked me, right, like about James and Henry. Like, hey, would you like? Wouldn't it be cool if they, one day they play for like a professional sport like basketball or football, right? I'm like, yeah, and you know what, Cody? I fantasize this about this all the time. Oh, and you're I, talking about your kids. Yeah, right? my kids. I'm my kids. Because I was yeah, thinking right. like, you know, it would be cool if they played <laughs> in the NFL, right? But then the ironic thing is, wouldn't it be funny if they play for a team I effing hate? <laughs> but they're like, oh, how do you cheer on your kid at the same time? Like, oh, I hate this team. <laughs> well, wait, wait, I don't get uh, yeah. Because whatever. he's at Patriots. Because you point okay. out Patriots, and I'm like, I hate the Patriots. But then, oh, do you? I okay. do. Well, but let then, me tell you something. But they, hey, let me, listen to me real okay. quick. I hate football, so it doesn't really make Then why did you I'm mention gonna, the Patriots? I'm, That's I'm funny start, that you did, though. I'm going to start. I, well, it's really ironic. Good. You said you hate football, makes, but then you named but, but, the Patriots. Didn't the Patriots win a lot of Super Bowls? Man, shut up out of here. <laughs> okay. They're usually on the news. That's probably why I named them. So Mr. I'm wearing a Nebraska... Huskers. Well, my wife, but like, so it's so funny. So, so you, you know, know what your wife, so your wife dresses you. Oh that's no, I bought why, this because I like wife. it. Now, like, what, is your favorite, my wife. what is your favorite? Play? What is your favorite team? Favorite team for what? Oh, favorite team. We're oh, it's Dallas about Cowboys. <laughs> it's the Dallas that? Cowboys. Okay. Hey, I wore a cowboy jersey when we did uh, Cowboys versus Aliens, and oh, I wore well, a cowboy jersey when we did Fan Yeah, that makes it. It shows you how relevant. The Fantastic Four. It shows show you how relevant it is to me. But I support like the team that my wife so, loves. Okay. So what you're saying is Taylor Swift's been to more Super Bowls than the Dallas Cowboys been. No, because Taylor Swift only been to one Super Bowl. <laughs> and she, but if you say that, you can say a lot of people been to a lot of Super Bowl, even than Tom Brady to the Patriots. Are you getting angry? No. That was a little defensive. Because like people are. I don't want to say people are dumb, right? When they make a dumb joke like that, because they don't think about like, <laughs> what about those people who are diehard Super Bowl fans that they trying to go every year, but then they don't count. Okay, it's I told the joke wrong. Taylor Swift I told is the joke wrong. famous. She's like, been to more Super Bowls last. She went to one more Super Bowl than the Dallas Cowboys did last year, or the Browns, or the Packers, or the Eagles. You know, like that's the joke. Like you. When people tell jokes like that, right, to me, like, what about the other teams? It's funny because you keep on with it. Yeah. But now I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, I do want to say this because you mentioned the Patriots, right? Okay. So you said you you knew the Patriots won a lot of Super Bowls. The only two Super Bowls that they lost to, and I really hate this too, is to the New York Giants. So there's a there's a guy on YouTube, right? He's a really diehard Patriots fan. And he was like, he, he made a say like, you could tell he's from, um, I'm sorry, uh, New England, from Boston, right? Because his accent. One of the funniest jokes is on, I, only I got. I had to explain this to Heather. Like, okay, if if you're um, if you're a disco and you uh, you associate anybody with the name Eli, I'm gonna hate you automatically because Eli uh, Manning was the quarterback for the Giants, and he's the one who actually beat the Patriots. So I thought that was very funny, and I can believe you named the Patriots. And you hate football. <laughs> Do you because like basketball on, better than football? Because they're on the news. Oh, they're on the news. Oh, see, okay. See, if the Dallas Cowboys probably would have won more Super Bowls, and they'd be on the news, and then I'd have said Dallas Cowboys. Oh, okay. Can you name I, another I would, football I, team? I would name the one that the trailer Swiss boyfriend plays for, but I don't I feel know funny team, that you say Taylor really Swift, know, though. I don't Is know it because she's on the so. news, too? She's on the news like uh. crazy. Yeah, I would name the team that her boyfriend plays for, but I don't really know. Oh, <laughs> no way. A, you do, not, do you not really know? Not, I know his <laughs> name, but I don't know the team he plays for because it's not on the news that much. Oh, that's funny. It's Kansas City Chiefs, by the way. Okay, cool. Her boyfriend is Travis Kelsey. Oh, I don't know his name. Duh. <laughs> he's on the news a lot. He's, <laughs> he's, more, he's more famous than his team. Let's put it that way. He's more famous than his team. Well, yeah. I would say my home his girlfriend is, his is girlfriend. His girlfriend is more famous than he is. Yeah. And he is more famous than his team. Yeah. And I don't know who you just mentioned because I don't really care. Yeah. All right, let's get back to X-Men. I don't know who Mahomes is. Uh, he used to play for Texas. 
Oh yeah, uh, well, he should have stayed there. But... He should have stayed there. All right, let me see. That was a that was a cameo is. for young. I don't know who all those people are. Oh, those in the trailer. I just told you. Yeah, oh, but I then you said they the thought they had the tra- like it was in oh. a trailer, but I don't remember the trailer for this movie. I don't remember the trailer. I do remember the trailer. Oh, I would have hate this, Shane. The tra- I think the, the trailer. Ca- Storm was in the trailer, but it removed for the release film. Oh my gosh. This sounds like something Warner Brothers or Sony would do. Well, it's Fox. He did the same thing. I mean. You know, I think oh, we well. talk about Fox, like how they cancel shows that are popular. Yes, they I did. recently read a Fox story did. about um, Ant O'Neill and Christina Applegate, right? They didn't even know that Fox canceled a show. They found out, oh. like, outside, like, you know, Ed, Ed O'Neill was on, um, I think it was on vacation or something. And yeah. he, he met this couple who just got married, okay? Yeah. And then they, they, you know, when they went on the honeymoon, they saw Ed O'Neill there or something. And I'm like, oh, my God, El Bundy. He hey, you know, how are you guys doing? Like, yeah. I'm so sorry about your show. And Ed O'Neill was like, what? What do you mean? Oh, you didn't hear? We just heard it on the radio that it got canceled. He was like, wow, you know what? I actually feel better that it, it, I heard from you than actual Fox. <laughs> <laughs> and same thing with Christina Applegate. You've heard it from an outside source before Fox even told them that their show was canceled. And it would make me wow. think of like, you know, Fox canceled a lot of shows that even though they're doing well, they just cancel stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, they did. It so like it reminds Net- me of like this Net- storm thing. Like Netflix. Yeah. Like uh, yeah, like Netflix. Like why are you canceling stuff that people are watching? Well, I don't know. Who knows? Because they give. Well, that's the thing. You know why they give their other shows that suck a chance? A chance. Well, like. Yeah. If you're so smart, oh, that makes sense. Hey, that but makes sense can't. what you said. If I cancel this show, now you have to watch this one. Like, pff, I'm not watching anything at all. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, <laughs> I'm gonna watch Disney Plus now. <laughs> That's so funny. Is Disney Plus now? Fox is part of Disney. <laughs> it's called 20th Century Studios. 20th Century Studios. Oh, that's funny. Like, yeah, but they did. Disney they canceled Plus. a lot of shows. They or do. They I, I, try, I do they understand that mentality. It. Like, yeah. yeah, but they're like, well, our other shows are lagging, so the executive in charge thinks, well, we'll just cancel this good one that we're making money. Yeah, so on. they have to so watch we, the we other one. You. And then I'm like, well, now I wonder why they're watching all these uh, reality TV shows now because you cancel re- real TV. Yeah, we you cancel good writing and stuff, and now you watch yeah. go. I, you know what? TV. That's really funny. Like, the only reality TV show I ever watched was probably Fear Factor. But then oh, that would consider me. that a game show. I, c- I consider that a game show. Yeah, that would be a game that. show. Like you wouldn't call Family Feud a reality TV because it's like no. they're competing for something. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, I have never watched reality TV. High five. A lot of people well, don't. I would. I have, so you're not missing anything. Oh, oh, because you watched Duck Dynasty? I don't know why it sounds racist. Oh, I've, okay. I, just, I think it's because you mentioned that to me before. I didn't get I that. have seen that. That's yeah. probably the only one I've seen. I've seen some other things. My yeah. parents watch a lot of that. Wow. Reality TV. But you can't call Dancing is, with the Stars. But it's not really, re- it's, it's but it's not audition. really reality. It's people that that ha- that aren't actors, but then they become actors. So, so how's it reality now? Because they they're following a the script now. Stallone, Stallone's daughters have a reality TV show that he's in. <laughs> it's not really yeah, his show. <laughs> I don't want to see that. I do and don't at the same time, because I want to see Sylvester see. Stallone. But then I want to see his daughters as well. But, but he has know. TV show. But he has a TV show. You can just go watch his TV show. He's acts in a TV show. Is he in a TV show? Yeah. He has, he has a TV show where he's a mobber. Mobster. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. I don't yeah, remember what it's yeah, called. Yeah, I forgot what it's called. I think it's on it FX or him. something, yeah. But uh, I don't know it either, so. Huh. Stupid fox. Well, it's not stupid Fox now. It's I know. It's, it's, isn't it Disney. weird that Fox is no longer around? But... Well, it's it's weird how they, they kind of kept it hanging on and they just put <clears throat> Disney kids put stuff under it. <laughs> why? Why did Disney just say Disney? Do-do-do? I don't ever understand why Disney can't just put their name on everything. What do you mean? How do you mean? What do you mean by that? Well, you know, if it's rated R, they make another studio to make it. Yeah, but they have other studios that have rated all movies, right? How many yeah. studios is under Disney? I don't know. They keep Before disappearing. Marvel. What is it, Touchstone? Oh, Touchstone, Touchstone Pictures. There? Yeah, because let's say if it wasn't, if it didn't have cartoons or family family friendly, it didn't have a Disney logo on it. Hmm. 
Interesting. But the thing is, I'm like, you have Disney Plus, and I would like to see everything that's in the Disney catalog, whether it's uh, whether it's uh, not Family Stone Friendly or not. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you just show me? Everything but right now they're doing that though. Like, <laughs> like they, uh, wo- this. I think Wolverine Origins is in Disney Plus. Can I go watch? But yeah, but they own uh, Aliens. Can I go watch Aliens on Disney Plus? Probably not yet. Like the right stuff is. I think like the other streaming services do have rights. Well, they got a Disney. But yeah, but they have an Alien TV show. It's gonna come on. It's not coming on Disney Plus. It's gonna no, come on. Uh, it's something else. Another network. It's There's coming on. Uh, I think it's coming on. What is that other one? It's not FX. It's a, it? No, it's not FX. What's the first Netflix? It's coming on Netflix. Is it? I'm sure it's coming on Netflix. I don't think it's Netflix. Which is dumb. Let's see. It's FX. So it is coming on FX. Okay. What is FX? Not Netflix. Uh, it used to be a channel. Well, it was probably still a cha- so can, was that, channel. Was cable. that stand for FX? Was it stand for a Fox Extra? No, FX was Fox, um, Fox a Extra. channel for a long time ago. Oh, okay. I thought it was. I thought it was a, a pay pay per view type service too. Yeah, but like you know HBO. what? But Disney could still be behind it. But it's the production that like distributing for Disney. Oh, okay. I'm told okay. it goes on Disney Plus probably. That needs to just they just put it all on Disney Plus. How about that? Yeah, I still want to see Alien Earth though. Well, eventually, I never played that game Alien Isolation on 360. I never heard of it. That game. I think it's that first person shooter. Okay. Yep. Still never heard of it. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I heard of it, never <laughs> played it. it. You just never played it. Well, I never wanted to play it because I've never heard of it. And hearing it, I. Still not interested. Depends. Now, kill all humans. I'm be interested. Destroy all humans. Oh, is it destroy? Or yeah, the alien universe? game, right? Yeah. Yeah. Destroy, kill. What's what's the difference? I guess kills more offensive. I think they try to eliminate the word kill because I think yeah, all the kids are playing Fortnite, right? They don't say they kill their opponent; they eliminate it. Oh, they eliminate. Eliminate, yeah, elimination. Yeah. So when there's a murder. If you want to get out of it, you say I eliminated that guy. Yep, I eliminated that boy. Yep, like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot who said that joke. When um, what was it like when Columbus stole the land? Right, he didn't discover it. It's kind of like it was a black comedian. He's like, "Did you steal that car? No, officer, I discovered it." <laughs> <laughs> and with that, we'll end it right here. Thank you for tuning in for this episode of Tenzai Reviews. If you like what you heard. Give us a thumbs up, follow us on Spotify, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll see you on the next one.